Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's uh, video, I will be doing my whole collection project pan finale. So if you're interested in seeing how I got on with uh, this project over the last month, but also over the whole year, then just keep on watching. So as always, I am going to start off with the projects that I had, with the products that I had in this uh, project uh, since the last update. So I'm going to go with the order that I have written down here. So it's going to be, you know, I'm going to keep you on your toes uh, just a little bit. So the first uh, product that I had is uh, my Essence Shine 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 Lip Gloss. And this one I have in the number 10. So my goal was to use uh, this up. Over the last month, I managed to use this uh, lip gloss 14 times bringing me to a total of 31 uses. Unfortunately, I still wasn't able to finish it off, uh, but you can see a lot of windowing when you look inside of this tube. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it is getting quite empty. So I am thinking that because I am doing the uh, partners in cream project pan next year i might actually roll this in uh sometime in that project just to finish it off and this is the shade that uh it is it is a beautiful beautiful lip gloss i had already finished one i had two of these uh different colors but i had two of these i had finished one and this is the second one that i have and i really want to use it up because i still remember when i bought it in college so and i haven't been to college since uh 2017 it's 2021 so you can imagine how how old this is. Haven't met my goal, but I did make really good progress on it. And, you know, it's giving me a headway to kind of um, introduce it to a different project soon to just kind of use it up. Then um, my next product was uh, this Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlight. Again, my goal was to use it up. And as you can see, Fortunately, I wasn't able uh, to do that. So over the last month, I used this product 18 times, bringing me to a total of 34 uses throughout this project. I made really decent progress on this, like really, really good. I do not have a lot of this left. And when you saw when I introduced it, I only had a little bit of pan in the middle. I've expanded it so, so much. Okay, I got interrupted a little bit, so I don't know where I finished uh, talking. Uh, I enjoyed this highlighter, I really do. And I'm really happy with the progress that I have made. And there's just so, so little left. So let me give you another swatch of this. This is a very subtle highlight, but I really love layering this on top of any um cream highlights that i put underneath it is a really lovely highlighter in general but yeah haven't made my goal but again it is very close to being done so if i i guess pull it into another project if i focus on it i think i would be um on the good or on the best on a good track to finish it off and then I have a product that I did actually manage to uh, hit my goal on. And this is the K-Lips Magic Desert Lip Liner. My goal was to use it up. And I did. This is all that I have left. Like, I cannot sharpen this anymore. And when I apply it on my lips, the wooden part of it actually drags along my lips. So I just... I literally cannot, I cannot use this anymore. Uh, but yeah, my goal, like I said, was to use it up. Over the last month, I had used this 11 times for a total of 27 times. I will be able to give you a little swatch. This is what that lip liner looks like. Really lovely color, but like I said, I just cannot sharpen it anymore. So we are... I'm so happy that I managed to use that lip liner up. That's a second or third lip liner that I finished this year, which is absolutely amazing. Next up is another product that I actually did hit my goal on, and this is the Nude Sticks Gel Color in the shade Siren. My goal was to use this 30 times, and I did manage to hit my goal just today. So over the last month, I used this uh, lipstick uh, 16 times, bringing me to a total of uh, 30 uses over the two months that I had it in this project. So this is what it looks like, a true, true red. It is shiny, so 
you cannot use a lot because it will move around so what i like to do is just apply it in the center of my lips and then use my uh, finger to just kind of uh, blend it all around my lips and make it work that way and the last product that i had in this rotation was my rimmel stain matte powder my goal was to use this up obviously i kind of knew that i wasn't going to be able to do it um but you know i set myself a goal like that because maybe by some sort of a miracle i would be able to do that didn't happen this got rolled in last month and i had used this 19 times in order to expand the pan like that so again this is another product that i'm hoping to finish in 2022 but now i have um i want to wrap this project up in a, a certain way with meaning that i want to talk about all the products that i had in this project and my goals and you know whether i use them up or whether i just hit my goal or pan or whatever i just want to show you everything that i had in this project and um how i used those products throughout this project <laughs> So I have a list on my phone with the products that I had in this uh, project and the first product that I um, hit my goal on in this uh, project is my Marc Jacobs uh, Tantastic Bronzer. From what I remember my goal was to just expand the pan that it already had to a significant amount and this is how much I managed uh, to use to use that product in my opinion this is a very significant pan uh, but i really love this product i enjoy using it every time that i have uh, put it into my shop my stash or every time that it's in the project just really really enjoy this guy so my goal was to expand the pan and i managed to do that next up was my glossy box glossy mauve eyeshadow and it's this one right here my goal was to hit pan and as you can see i had done that um uh, this is just okay this is a very old but i just can't bring myself to declutter it for some reason i don't know why so i'm just going to keep it around in my collection collection it is going to go back into the spreadsheet uh, as products that you know i to being eligible to be ruled in and yeah i, I just I, I can't get rid of it that's just something about it that i you know it's has some sort of special place in my heart that I just can't get rid of it. Next up, I had my Huda Beauty liquid liner. My goal was to use this 30 times from what I remember or 25 times. And I managed to do that. I actually had to revive it not too long ago. Uh, I went in to use it and it was kind of getting dried out, but I revived it with some Duraline and that worked. I really enjoyed this uh, liquid liner, but it is an absolute pain in the butt to um uh, to remove like you need some heavy duty uh, eye makeup remover in order to remove it because it's so so waterproof and uh, then next up i rolled in my lacura loose translucent powder my goal was to uh, finish this off and i managed to do that this hasn't come back into aldi's yet uh this is one of my favorite powders it is a very finely milled beautiful powder that you can set uh your eyes with or you know your under eyes with and also your whole face i really enjoyed once it comes in stock i will be buying two because i just love this guy so so much and uh, then i had my saint lux cupid liner i had a goal to reach a certain uh, point on this lip liner and i managed to do that not my favorite lip liner ever but it did the job plus it's there isn't a lot of it left so maybe i'll be able to finish that up in 2022 i don't know i have a lot of lip liners so you know uh, the chances of this getting rolled in next year slim but might happen knowing my luck then i had the maybelline urban dream cover foundation uh, i remember i had a goal of using this 30 times i managed to do that it is a really good foundation i usually take this with me traveling because of how as uh, compact it is it is a squeezy tube so it's easily you know kind of you can put it anywhere and doesn't take that much space and i just enjoy it it has spf 50 it is the foundation that i took with me to visa because of the spf factor and yeah it's just a really good light weight but has a good medium coverage uh to it and i enjoy it then i had my color pub lunar hazard blush my goal was to hit pan and i managed 
to do that the only reason i managed to do that is i actually i started to use it as a transition shade on my eyes as well because other than that this probably would have just rolled out of the project um this is a very kind of heart press formula so you know and you don't need a lot to put on your cheeks so it would have taken ages but i did manage to hit my goal on that and then the next product is my Catrice uh, eyeshadow sticks in the shade freaking greenness. So my goal was to use half of what I had in this eyeshadow stick and I managed to do that. This is one of the products that I will be decluttering that you will be seeing in my uh, declutter video soon. I'm just not a fan of it, honestly. I like the color. Uh, the formula is okay. Uh, but I do have an Urban Decay um, eyeshadow stick that is basically the same color that I prefer more over this. So this is saying goodbye um, for my collection. But I, you know, I managed to use it a good bit in order to find out that, you know, it's not my favorite product. Then I uh, rolled in the um, Kiss and Smink, the Everything uh, Blush. And I had a goal of using this 30 times. Uh, this is again one of the products that will be getting decluttered from my collection. This is not my favorite shade. It's very, very vibrant. And uh, yeah, it, it just, I just don't necessarily like it. I don't find it, uh, you know, a breeze to use. I don't find it enjoyable to use. So I am just going to say goodbye to it. Next up, I had my Shiseido uh, Lip Lacquer in the shade Techno Red. I do really enjoy that one. It is a beautiful red lip gloss. It is, you know, a lacquer, so it stays on your lips for ages. But it is very comfortable to wear because of its kind of glossy texture. I had a goal of using this 30 times, which I had met. Then I rolled in my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood. No, Phil... Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette, and I rolled in the highlight shade, and I gave myself a goal of a hitting pan. And as you can see, I had successfully done that. Uh, my friend was telling me like, you are probably the only person I had seen to hit pan in uh, this highlighter, which is not true because I had seen other people pan it. But uh, I've done it quite in in a quick manner, let's say, because I was using this on my face as well as my inner corner. I love this palette. It is the perfect uh, travel companion because it has that sculpting shade and also this highlighter that you can use on your eyes, in your inner corner and on your face. Then I hit my goal on this bad boy this is the mac um retro matte liquid lip color in the shade red jade you had heard me talk about this many many times i do not enjoy it it is a beautiful color but the formula sucks i had a goal of using this 30 times i did it but this is actually getting decluttered from my collection then i used up my only lipstick this year uh, this is the wet n wild lipstick in the shade bear it all this is supposed to be a dupe for the velvet teddy uh, lipstick from mac mango wanted to say hello look at this beautiful face look at this beautiful face um she hurt her foot the last day because she had the zoomies and just literally kind of hurt between her fingers uh she is walking but kind of limping so hopefully she will get better but she's still being a naughty 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 little girl you know typical rottweiler behavior say hello say hello she's such a big girl now and she's so cute oh no, i know i know and she loves to give kisses you know i know right are you okay are you okay and she likes to eat my plant typical typical i know i know as i was saying before i was rudely interrupted by my pet um that lipstick is or no i'm talking about this one i did really enjoy that one i was using it as a blush and also on my lips and i managed to use it up it was a beautiful beautiful color beautiful formula and uh but i do want to try the actual original you know uh, product that this is duping which is mac velvet teddy hopefully i'll be able to do that soon okay we are down to my last three products i don't know why this was in my oh i skipped it okay so this is the ps um 
PS Red lip liner and my goal was to use it up and I did. It was uh, my own, no, I have another red lip liner, but this was my oldest red lip liner that I own. And I was finally able to use that up. And then I rolled in my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I My goal was to use this up. However, I did manage to do that. As you can see, there's still a little bit of product around the uh, glass um, packaging. However, I wasn't able to pump out anything else. So I just said, okay, that's done. This is going back to MAC. I just need to get rid of those... Um, nail polish markings because apparently they don't accept uh, products that have been marked so i will do that but my goal was to uh, finish that up and i did okay and the latest products uh, of course my k magic k lips magic desert lip liner goal was to use it up i did it and i'm very very excited about that and then lastly my nude sticks gel color in the shade siren um my goal was to use this 30 times and i just hit that goal today so i'm very very excited but that is it for today's video this is my whole collection project pan finale i am bringing this project back next year because i had so much fun i used up so many products okay uh let me just look at my statistics here okay so i hit goal on one two three four five six seven eight nine so i hit goal on nine products i used up five and i hit pan on three products meaning that all together i uh, worked on 17 products uh, or i met my goal on 17 products throughout this project which is absolutely amazing like having five products used up this is just great and these are the products that you probably wouldn't have finished like the lipstick like the lip liner do you know what i mean it is a great great project and i absolutely love it meaning i will be bringing this back next year but that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you very much and i will see you in the next one Bye. Mwah.